Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video we are going to be learning how to write expressions. And you might be thinking what the heck is an expression? Well by the end of this video you'll have it down. And this is part one so we're going to start off with the basics to writing expressions. We are going to follow this up with part two where we get a little more complex a little harder and then we are going to end it after that with a mastery check that will be the third video where you will test your knowledge here and try some on your own to see if you have it down. So let's hop into number one here. The sum of eight and three. So as you can see on your screen we have ten problems. We are not going to solve any of these problems. When we write expressions all we're doing is writing the math problem from the given situation or the given words. So the sum of eight and three sum we should think addition, right? So all we would do for this one is eight plus three. That would be our expression for the given situation there, words and numbers. So eight plus three. Always double check eight plus three, the sum of eight and three, it matches. Now these are pretty basic, but we have to get get into good habits for when we get into more complex ones, so always double check your work. Number two, the quotient of 25 and 5. So quotient, hmm, do we remember that one? Hopefully you are thinking division. So 25 divided by 5 there. All right. Number three, 5 minus 2. Hopefully we are thinking 5 minus 2. I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but oh well, I'll mention it now. You can either write these out with me, or you can just listen to me as I go through these. Eventually, you will get to the mastery check, which is the third video, where you will try some on your own, and you can write then. So you can just listen now or write up to you. So number four, eight taken away from 19. This is the most commonly missed type of expression here because uh, we are taking eight away from 19. So think about it. If you had $19 and you take eight away, it's actually 19 minus eight. It is not eight minus 19. Order matters when it comes to subtraction and division. So 19 minus 8 right here would equal 11. 8 minus 19 right there equals negative 11. Did that give you the same thing? No, obviously not. So you need to think about what is being asked. That's one you definitely need to double check and read back to yourself to see if you have it. So that's 19 minus 8. Order matters, division, subtraction. Now addition and multiplication, those are commutative, which means the order doesn't matter. So take a look back up at number one. We have eight plus three. Let's switch the order and see if we get the same thing. So eight plus three is 11. Three plus eight, 11. That will work for any addition problem. You switch the numbers, you get the same answer. Same for multiplication. Three times two is six. Two times three is six. So let's go down to number five. The product of k and six. Know that is not a mistake. We are supposed to have a letter in our math problem there. So we have a k and a six. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about what a letter means in a math problem. This is actually a little bit of algebra here. A letter in a math problem is called a variable. It means a missing piece, like the missing puzzle piece to the math problem. And it can be any number in the world. That K can be a hundred, it could be two, it could be a million. We don't know what it is. So when we write out product of K and six, product means multiplication. K times six. So that right there in the bottom left hand corner would be okay because we're just starting out, but we don't want to use an X for a multiplication sign when we are working with algebra problems because we don't know if that's a multiplication 
or an x. That could mean kx6 or it could mean k times 6. So we want to avoid that. The most common thing in algebra is the number right next to the letter. And usually you will see the number come first. Remember, multiplication is commutative, so you can switch the numbers and letters and still get the same answer. So 6k, that would be six that would mean six times k. Another one you can use or you might see is right next to a parenthesis. Anything right next to a parenthesis means multiply. So that means six times k. I'm gonna come up here so I have room. Another one is a dot. Make sure it does not look like a decimal, but that means multiplication. And the fourth one is an asterisk. means multiplication. So four new ways to show multiplication because remember if we use an x we don't know if it means multiply or it's an x. Number six, m plus 21. So all we have there is m plus 21. Do we remember what a letter in a math problem is called? If we need to look at the bottom go ahead and look. Hopefully you said variable. Yes, a variable. And what does it mean? Hopefully you are thinking a missing piece to a math problem. It can be any number in the world. The difference of 9 and 2. So you have two options here. 2 minus 9 or 9 minus 2. This one's just straightforward. So you keep the order, 9 minus 2, 9 minus 2 there. Number 8, r divided by 12. This one's pretty straightforward here, but I did want to show you, you can write it like that, r divided by 12, but you can also express division with a fraction. This right here, you would say r divided by 12 as well. Number 9, 32 multiplied by h. So let's think of a different way to write out multiplication besides the x. I gave you four examples. You will see all four, but just pick one here. I'm going to do 32 h. That's the most commonly used in algebra, the number right next to the letter. And then number 10, 19 decreased by F. What expression, or I mean, I'm sorry, what operation do you think decreased means? Hopefully you're thinking subtraction. 19 minus F. So those are our 10 basic writing expressions problems. Hopefully you are ready to step it up a notch here and get a little more complicated with part two. I think you're ready. Um, so I will see you over at part two. Thanks for watching.